Buffalo Bill safety DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition today after he collapsed on the field during the team's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. In McKees Rock, Pennsylvania, Hamlin's hometown, the community is rooting for him today. NBC's Pete DeLuca reports. I'm optimistic. I'm hopeful he's going to fight through. Buffalo Bills defensive back DeMar Hamlin's support system here in the Pittsburgh area is trying to remain positive after he was rushed to the hospital in critical condition during the first quarter of his Monday night football game versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Then they announced that they were pausing the game and then they said they were postponing it because the players were too big of a mess. I was like, wow, I've never seen that. Pastor James Hogan of Faithbridge Community Church in Hamlin's hometown of McKees Rocks has known him since he was seven. Frankly, McKees Rocks needs the victory, you know, of him getting through this because he's already a victory for this town. We all celebrate him, but we certainly don't want that to stop now. Hamlin was a standout player and 2015 state champion at Central Catholic High School under now retired legendary coach Terry Totten. I saw it on my TV, everyone standing there praying and just, you know, the first thing you look for is move your hands and feet. And, and he, he really wasn't at that time. You get flashbacks about the kid, you know, the person you knew is is in danger. Totten remains in touch with Hamlin, who went on to great success at Pitt and now with the Buffalo Bills starting in just his second season. He embraced his community of McKees Rocks. He embraced the community of Central Catholic. He embraced the community of the University of Pittsburgh. He has represented all of us tremendously well. Immediately after the NFL stopped and later postponed Monday night's game, support for Hamlin began pouring in from across the country on social media, along with donations for Hamlin's charity. The GoFundMe raising money for toys to give to children in Stowe Township jumped up by more than $3 million in just a matter of hours. It's amazing that people want to find some way to show that they support him. And so, you know, hopefully he and his family and, and the people running that fundraiser are going to find some really great things to do with it. And hopefully he's going to be at the helm of that. And that CPR that Hamlin received on the field immediately after his collapse may have just saved his life. It's something paramedics and EMTs practice and use regularly. Clark County Fire District 6 in Vancouver just received a life-saving device that both gives perfect and sustained CPR and relieves the physical stress of doing it by hand. It's called the Lucas device, and it's basically a mechanical form of CPR that does continuous compressions during cardiac arrest. A plate goes under the patient, and the top mechanical part of the device has a suction cup above the heart. One of the first responders doing CPR manually will get tired, and their quality of compressions will decrease over time. The mechanical device, the Lucas device, will not decrease in quality over time. It runs for about 45 minutes to an hour, and it allows for high quality CPR and frees up hands for other people to do other things required during a cardiac arrest. Yeah, the Lucas device can even do CPR while a patient is being taken down a flight of stairs or being loaded into an ambulance where no more CPR would have to temporarily be stopped. It's now in all of their rigs.